Ähm, vielleicht fangen wir bei Ihnen an, genau, wenn Sie Fragen haben. Uh, thank you for your presentation uh, on this, uh, or of your research on this entirely uh, hitherto unknown case, and um, in which you, I think, made very clear uh, in how far uh, Fabrizi was understood to be an atheist, and that this very much still um, contains forms of belief, but very much differing from, from the Christian belief. But still um, embedded in an in an in an in a worldview that contains supernatural elements. Um, in our modern understanding of atheism, which denies all otherworldly uh, entities and uh, miraculous phenomena, um, uh, this is, is, is of course slightly different. Um, do you see any any signs of that emerging at that time? Also, elements that denies it completely, um, or is this really as unthinkable, unthinkable as um, was assumed beforehand? Atheism was at all. This is a huge question. I, I, <clears throat> there is a, an interpretation, a theory uh, formulated by two. Also, to French authors. Uh, one is Jean Viert, um, consisting in the idea that uh, before the atheism, in the sense of the Enlightenment, hmm, no belief in nothing, hmm, Christ, uh, Buddha, <laughs> uh, uh, Muhammad, uh, the stars, too. Before this moment, that, that the moment uh, we can define the mo this moment as the moment of the maturity of atheism, the, the 18th century, it was necessary to um, go out of uh, the Christian mentality, the creation mentality, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the idea of, of uh, a creation and uh, uh, of the end of the world, and the idea of providence of God. Uh, the, um, the box of tools uh, uh, for the first form uh, of unbelieving uh, was uh, uh, the paganism, the tradition, the hermetic tradition, and, uh, and the possibility to to to, to read the phenomenon in, in this world as a natural phenomenon. Hmm? The stars, uh, not uh, as a uh, godly entity, as a diving entity, but as a, um, as a part of nature. Uh, and then the prophecy, the miracles, uh, the wonders, uh, uh, can be interpreted as a uh, natural phenomenon determined by the, uh, the, the, the stars. So this is the first thing, step. If uh, uh, during the 16th century it, it, uh, was it possible to, to, to imagine a complete uh, form of atheism, I don't know. I prefer to use uh, the word unbelief not atheism, but the, uh, the term atheist uh, was used by the, by the judge of, uh, of Flaminio and uh, circulated during the, 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 15th, the 16th century, uh, not only in, in the Calvinist Geneva, but also in, uh, in some Catholic circle against the adversary of faith. I don't know. So, uh... Yes, thank you. Question. Yeah, uh, thank you, first of all, for your presentation. I really like the, uh, the, the case, uh, which is, uh, yeah, like micro history. <laughs> yes. And, uh, incredible, but like I have the same question as for the work of Kylo Ginsburg. So we uh, see the history of um, uh, Nicolo Amarico and Flamino Fabrice, as well as uh, Minocchio's history through the perspective of the Inquisitor. So he's describing the the, the I don't know the dialogues, and it can and it can seem that it's just this uh, comfortable dialogue about what they think, but it's still the Inquisition. So that's why my question is: Are there any I don't know 
signs and the sources that show how the inquisitors are actually proceeding these uh, dialogues. Like, are they using tortures or they are just, I don't know, listening and uh, without any pressure, just trying to get to the core of the problem, yeah? So, yeah, because it says a lot about the inquisitors themselves, yeah, how they are proceeding the, um, the, the process. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, to, uh, to avoiding to... to to adhere to the point of view of the Inquisitors, I, 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 I use another term, uh, 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 as I told to your colleague. Uh, there is also a problem with the use of the Inquisitorial sources. Mm? For example, to, 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 to study the witch hunting. Mm? Or also, um, there was a poem it's concerning the ritual uh, murder uh, at the end of the Middle Ages, because uh, an Italian Hebrew author uh, wrote a book uh, based on uh, trials uh, in Trent, uh, in the northern part of Italy, uh, to demonstrate the real existence of the ritual murder. Um, it needs to, 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 to work with the inquisitorial sources with, uh, uh, cautiously, but during uh, the trial of Ramino Fabrizio, uh, there was not uh, uh, a testimony of the use of the torture. Mm. Flaminio, like a monocchio, had the desire to confront himself with the judge of, of Inquisition, because uh, the judges of Inquisition were theologians. For him, as for Menocchio, for a not learned man, but Fabrizio was more learned than Menocchio. Mm. Uh, it was a, a great moment, uh, a great possibility, uh, um, a suicide position, if you want, but uh, important for a not learned man to have uh, the occasion to, uh, to have a confrontation with Inquisitors. And so the registrations uh, of the acts uh, in Siena, we have lost the, 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 the trial in Rome. But the acts in Siena are like a perfect record of the voice of Niccolò and, and, and Flaminio, uh, also with the mistakes du during, the, uh, the, the, during the interrogations, for example. Uh, for me, I can imagine another possibility to, to, to listen to the voice of the, the not learned man without the, 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 the trials of a, of a magistracy, uh, Catholic or uh, Protestant. Uh, uh, and so this is a possibility, a, a micro history to better understand the, the story of the non-Christian believing uh, believing during the before the, the, the libertinism and before the enlightenment. I, I don't know another way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next question, please. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much for your talk. Um, my question uh, touches Nikita's questions, uh, question a bit um, because um, by labeling him as an atheist, um, I think they um, put him in a, in a special position uh, because I was asking myself if he was the first one to be called atheist, uh, who was the second one in, uh, in, in this uh, area or in the following years or uh, decades? Because um, my um, understanding of it was a bit that they maybe wanted to uh, make an example of him uh, because he was he wasn't a scholar because he was just um, yeah uh, you said he couldn't keep a wonder hmm? a wonder hmm. he couldn't keep his mouth shut and um, yeah that he maybe in the eyes of the of the inquisitors and the judges uh, needed a sort of special treatment to to put him in his place. That's a uh, conclusion that... Uh, so the question is, uh, uh, 
if the definition of the inquisitors uh, uh, is re uh, uh, about to can the uh, state, maybe to, to the state or to the position of the individual, then rather than to his actual beliefs, mm -hmm. that what you yeah. read more as a question. So, if he would be a learned man, they would call him maybe an atheist. But since he is more like a peasant or something, they exaggerated. Uh, what he said and put it further down the line. Yes, he, the he, yes, he exaggerated uh, because uh, he himself uh, said that I'm not able to keep uh, uh, my mouth shut. But uh, um, it's very interesting uh, that uh, uh, Flamino Fabrizi uh, used. Uh, a kind of list of uh, sources uh, uh, of the future libertines. Pomponazzi, Agrippa von Nettesheim, Cardano, uh, the Hermetic tradition, uh, Paracelsus. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the, the, the possibility to speak with, an, uh, with a learned man uh, exaggerated the position uh, verbally of uh, of Flamino Fabrizi, but I I, I believe that uh, Fabrizi uh, said the, the truth uh, regarding his uh, readings, uh, his encounters, uh, and it was also important that the, the, the story I, I I have to cut the, the text, but the story of this. Uh, uh, small town of Mulazzo, hmm, without uh, any control by the Inquisition, because uh, Mulazzo was uh, a, an imperial food autonomous from the Grand Duchy of the Tuscany or uh, the other states of, uh, of the Italian peninsula. And the, 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 his lord, uh, the Marchese Malaspina, uh, uh, gathered a circle of, of uh, uh, followers of Pomponazzi, like Girolamo Bori. Um, I can't believe that, uh, that the Fabrizio exaggerated his position, just exaggerated his position. Uh, the, 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 the inquisitorial records are good report of, of his uh, curiosity, not of a uh, I think, uh, or I mean, uh, of his real uh, understanding of the texts. Mm? Because, for example, some texts of uh, Cardano was, uh, were unpublished, and other ones are in Latin, for example. But he heard a set of, a set of opinions, a set of uh, of the ideas contrary to the to the idea to, to, to the traditional Christian faith. This makes this case uh, important for me. More questions? You can auch Deutsch sagen, das klingt schon nicht dahin, weil es kein uh, first of all, thank you, uh, thank you very much for your very interesting pr uh, presentation. Um, with especially your conclusion at the end about the different uh, aspects of unbelief uh, reminded me quite a lot of a case uh, I wrote an essay about a few years back about a French priest, uh, Jean Millet, who at the beginning... Jean? Jean uh, Messier, um, uh -huh. yeah, uh, who wrote in his last will at the beginning of the 18th century quite a radical atheist uh, text, uh, which was only discovered a few uh, uh, about the revolutionary uh, in the revolutionary time, and I wondered if uh, are there uh, the title of this uh, of this uh, text, uh, the, the testament of uh, the Abbe uh, Jean Meillet. Uh, it was uh, Georges Minot is the, who you had in the, your bibliography. Ah, Georges Minot. Ah, oui. uh, he talks about him. Uh, okay, in, in the Histoire de l'Athéisme. De okay, there's a chapter about. I, I, I didn't remember. Oh. Uh, what uh, what interested me about that is uh, are there in the uh, records of the inquisitorial cases are there any 
similar or in the uh, after this trial are there any maybe uh, maybe obscure cases about uh, similar views also developed uh, also being developed by learned men and maybe even uh, men of the church who uh, and, uh, the question is uh, the, the similarity of this case with other cases in France or uh, 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 was uh, the Fabrizi uh, the uh, relatively unique in his views, or are there others uh, in the coming uh, in the years after him that uh, that showed similar views? And maybe uh, is there a differ differentiation uh, between uh, mm -hmm. the status of the people who develop mm -hmm. uh, those views, if there are any? So, the, taking into account the literature concerning uh, the origins of unbelief and atheism in the early modern period, um, in this literature the, uh, there is an, in, an insistence in the 70s and 80s of the, 15th, of the 16th century. There are some cases uh, in uh, Switzerland, for example, there are some cases uh, recorded by the diocesan courts or secular courts in France, mm -hmm. maybe also in German, I don't know. And the set of, uh, uh, of ideas uh, is uh, similar to the case of Flamino Fabrizio. The first question is uh, why in the, in the 18th of the 16th century, why? Maybe because uh, because the, 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 the struggles of religion um, put to to doubt of, of all the Christian faith. Maybe maybe the end of, in Italy, for example, uh, the end of the aunt against the Lutherans, the the, the Valdensians, the Calvinists, the anti-Trinitarians, uh, um, displays the, the focus, uh, the, the judicial focus of the Roman Inquisition, for example, or is it possible to imagine a first manuscript or oral circulation of uh, new ideas or ancient ideas as, uh, as uh, that of the three imposters, renewed during uh, just during the uh, during uh, in, in the second half of the century my hypothesis is uh, that in the second half of the uh, 16th century something circulated for example during his uh, imprisonment uh, tommaso campanella uh, said that uh, he had seen the text of the three imposters you, uh, in the same time, uh, uh, in the same time, the, 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 during the first uh, eight uh, years uh, after the, the, the burning up stake of uh, Fermino Fabrizio. I don't know, uh, m m there is a great debate uh, concerning this testimony of uh, Tommaso Campanella. If uh, uh, there was a text of the three imposters uh, before, hmm? the two versions printed that he, uh, during the, the first phase of the Enlightenment. Uh, I don't know. It's a real mystery. It's a mystery, too, that the life of Flaminio Fabrizio, because uh, he said uh, he, had, he, he has traveled to, uh, a lot in Paris, in German, in, uh, in the Tremiti Islands, in Sicily, in Venice. Is it true? I don't know, because the, 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 the sole testimony of the, the, the life of Flamino Fabrizio is uh, his trial. Thank you. Any further questions, please? I wanted to ask that this speaking uh, on the said took place in the 80s, the end of the 16th century. But we see that there's always many people like literature, like literature people, so people <coughs> that maybe started to read. Oh, it's also like spread in, I would say, common 
Good. So, yes. Um, I mean, Fabrizi was a common man. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, he was uh, 33 uh, when he was uh, imprisoned in Siena. He was, uh, he, he told, he was uh, of a popular family of Trastevere in Rome. Hmm? Uh, he enrolled himself uh, like a soldier during the youth, like a uh, a common uh, young man in, uh, in the 16th century, it, it was not a learned man, hmm? not uh, a university student, and not uh, able to, to, to read Latin uh, and so on. Uh, so, uh, for me, uh, the importance of this case uh, is uh, uh, the translation of uh, the, for example, of the Averroistic tradition, hmm? uh, the Aristotelian tradition in Padua, Pisa, and Bologna, hmm? that uh, were the, um, the, 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 the the kitchen of the new food of uh, unbelieving during the 17th, 16th century. Um, for me, uh, Fabrizi shows that it was possible. Uh, that these uh, ideas uh, spread outside the learned circles uh, in Italy, the learned Aristotelians, uh, and uh, um, the circles are of unbelievers. Well, Pietro Pomponazzi, who taught in Bologna and Padua, was uh, not a Christian. Hmm? Okay? But uh, Girolamo Borri hmm, was not a Christian. Uh, but Bori and Pomponazzi, like Cardano, uh, were a professor of philosophy, on, of nature of philosophy, in the most important university in Italy. Flamino Fabrizi was not, was a common man. A common man, but not uh, so uh, unable to, to understand the written culture, the, the learned culture. He was able to to read, for, for example, he, um, uh, he owned uh, some books. He written, uh, he wrote uh, some uh, horoscopes uh, to uh, to show he, uh, his uh, knowledge of the nature for the nobles in Siena. Uh, he was able to to manage the culture, but uh, he was not a learned man. Um, a figure go between, uh, one can say. Questions from students, from student audience, <laughs> and um, those who are not here in this room, I wish the discussion for den Rest insgesamt öffnen. Bitte. Thank you so much for your talk. And my question is in the other direction, so to say. How the case of Fabrizio Fermi influenced the scholarly uh, discourse about atheism and changed something in the discourse about uh, unbelief in the uh, scholarly discourse after the first event of labeling person in practice? Uh, so, um, after is that uh, the, the case of Flaminio Fabrizi uh, disappeared? Hmm? Disappeared. Hmm? Uh, uh, until the, 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 the opening of the inquisitorial archives in Rome, the name of Flaminio Fabrizi uh, is recorded just in a uh, in a line over uh, over uh, of a book uh, uh, registering the, uh, the the condemnation to death in Rome at the end of the 16th century, the sole record. So uh, this case uh, uh, is not known uh, also to Gabriel Naudet or uh, the, the important uh, Libertinage Rudi in France. Uh, 
uh, I hope uh, nonetheless that his story emerged from the uh, from the darkness from the archives uh, can uh, confirm the idea of some scholars that the that something similar to it in the, in the, in the, uh, the unbelieving can exist in the, in the 16th century. But the case of Flaminio Fabrizi uh, was not known during the, 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 the early modern age and the, before my discovery of the, of the trial in the archives. I, I hope uh, my, my book uh, can uh, can help the discussion concerning this topic uh, after its publication. <laughs> Any more questions? Like three, three questions, if I may. <clears throat> but you said that this was like the kind of first step towards the invention, that's, so to speak, of ethics. Can you draw a line there, or is it just the idea that this, like, like Christianism is it's like a fortress that you need a lot of artillery to weaken the walls, and, then, and the walls were weakened in the 16th century, and then at the beginning of the 18th century, atheism, you know, invaded this this fortress in a way, or left left it to the side. So, can you draw can, can you draw a line between what you found in the 16th, the late 16th century, to what then? Atheism, the no, no theology. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not uh, so. <laughs> no, no. My, my, my aim is not to, to, to demonstrate the, the, the importance to destroy the, the, the Catholic Church or or the Christian Church. I'm a scholar. I didn't try to trick you. It was an honest question. Yes. Um, what, what struck me is that that you said. Um, your, your personnel attributes the stars, or the rot uh, rotating of the stars, as a natural phenomenon. We had a couple of weeks ago, Lika Ludwig here, who mm. informed us about uh, astrology, that everybody did it in the 17th century and the 18th century. Yes. And the idea behind it, if I understood it right, is that of course the stars were somehow governed by... By soul, uh, 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 an inner soul, as a, uh, as a spirit. As, as spirit of all by animated, uh, animated of things. So, so, yes. so the question is: is that uh, is that real natural science, mm. or is that is it something that has to do with atheism, or more with a different form of belief? And the second question, I think, uh, the question linked to that you answered already: um, the the link between macro and micro world, like the stars influence ourselves, mm. our life, and vice versa. How is that linked to unbelief, to atheism? You can still think that you know the stars somehow influence my mm. feelings towards I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Two two important questions. Uh, the, the the first one, uh, yes, um, the natural the natural elements the natural elements uh, were animated. Uh, <coughs> In, in the view of uh, also uh, of Aristotle, uh, yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, more in, in the Platonic tradition. Mm -hmm. right, for, for your personnel, for your fellows, you look at them. Uh, ah, for, for Fermino Fabrizio, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the stars uh, uh, can be manipulated by the man and can manipulate men. There's a link there's a, yes, uh, there, okay. there is a relationship between uh, the, 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 the stars, uh, and uh, there is a need and uh, knowledge uh, to be rediscovered. An ancient uh, um, uh, sapientia, mm -hmm. uh, wisdom, that, uh, wisdom uh, that uh, a, a wise man had to rediscover. Uh, this is the position of Flaminio Fabrizio. This, uh, the, this wisdom uh, uh, was owned during the, the, the ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, was buried during the Christianity, and re-emerged in, uh, in, 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 the, in the 16th century. One last question, if I may. Um, there was a lively discussion here, and that was in your paper too, that more or less it's you distinguish between learned and unlearned, or common people, common people, and, and so the 
two countries can be imagined or should be imagined uh, even though with Carlo Ginsburg uh, book on terms of the pillar, um, two quite different discourses like learned, non-learned or common people aristocrats. Or on the other hand, if I listen to your paper and try to you paper right, there's there are also many links. So yes, yes. Like, so so how, how do we manage that? Yes. Um, Carlo Ginsburg uh, was contacted uh, by, for a, uh, firstly for the idea that the Miller Menocchio was a popular man. The, 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 the Miller Menocchio uh, can read. This is not exactly uh, the, 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 the normal condition of the, the common people in the early modern Europe. Uh, it is the same for Flamino Fabrizi. He can uh, uh, he can uh, uh, read. Mm. Uh, I mm, can imagine a popular culture uh, strongly distinguished from the learned culture. And the story of Flamino Fabrizi uh, shows this uh, fluid uh, milieu. Mm, of ideas uh, in, um, in, in the urban context, mm, uh, different from the context of uh, Menocchio uh, that was rural. But in, in, in the urban context, the, the, uh, the fluidity of uh, the speaking. Uh, for example, Fabrizi uh, told that uh, uh, he, uh, he has debated uh, also with the uh, Jesuits, Hebrews in Siena, with, uh, with the noblemen of Siena, um, normally uh, about the, 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 the impostors of Christ in Siena, uh, by quoting uh, the name of Cardano, the name of Pomponazzi, and so on. In this case uh, shows uh, this fluidity, not the, 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 the strong uh, separation, the strong divide between the, the, the popular culture and the learned culture. Thank you very much. And the mobility, too, the importance of the mobility. Ah, yeah. Yes, because uh, Flamino Fabrizio was a wanderer. So, did I overlook anyone? Thank you very much for the paper. Thank you great. for your thank attention. You everybody, thank you everybody for the participating in the discussion. And we go to the booth uh, to have a meal and a beer together. Everybody is most welcome to join us.